Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and today we're at the Heart Valve Summit in Chicago, Illinois. I'm talking with Dr. Patrick McCarthy. Dr. McCarthy, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Adam. And Dr. McCarthy is the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at Northwestern Medicine. He's also the Executive Director of the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute. And Dr. Mark McCarthy is going to answer Sue Webb Mayer's question that she just submitted at her Facebook page. She says, she asks, is heart valve disease genetic or is there a tendency to develop valvular disease in the later years of life? So that's a good question and it's actually it's a very common question that we have to deal with and there's really two scenarios. One is that there's a specific condition called bicuspid aortic valve disease, which you know very well, Adam, because you had that. And that actually can run in families. It's in about 2% of the population, so guys like me see it every day. When that happens, about 20%, so one out of five, it runs in the family. And so I talk to patients and they say, you know, my brother had this operation or, you know, my nephew or something like that. And so we actually recommend screening family members with that now. So we recommend if a patient has a bicuspid aorta valve, that first degree relatives, which means close relatives, get an echo. So that one is clearly genetic. The other ones, uh, like mitral valve disease, mitral valve prolapse, where you break the strings on the valve, and the cords. You know, we're a little suspicious that someday we may show that that one's genetic, but it hasn't been shown. If we ever show it and can prove it, I'll win the Nobel Prize. But uh, we're suspicious, but we don't know about that one. The 95 year old. Uh, in a sense, that is atherosclerosis that is developing and things like that can run in the families like heart attacks. And so sometimes you see people and there's been valve disease at an elderly age, but that one is much less common. Well, Dr. McCarthy, thanks again for all your help and support right, of our com community and the great care you're providing to our patients. Thanks for taking care of these patients too, Adam.